Cisco and AACT have launched the latest phase of their internship program. So along Cisco with AACT, it is going to launch this virtual internship program 2024, right? So this initiative aims to offer virtual internship in networking and cyber security. So the major important field they are focusing on this internship is uh, networking as well as the cyber security through what Cisco Networking Academy and its affiliated partners. So only Cisco Networking Academy institutions and their affiliated partners are eligible for choosing this program. So now what is the need of doing this kind of internship program? So this aims to provide valuable learning opportunities and practical experience to students in the academic community enhancing their employability and contributing to the advancements of the technology sector in India. Right. So now we will see that what is the eligibility condition, what is the registration process, course completion, industry session, project submission, certification for further support. Right. So what is the eligibility? Students enrolled in first, second and third year are engineering, technical degree and diploma program from institution affiliated with the Cisco Networking Academy are eligible to the participate. Remember that the very important point is that the institutions which is affiliated to the Cisco Networking Academy are only eligible to participate. Right. So institutions, if they are interested to join in the Cisco Networking Academy, they can approach Cisco NetAcad so that they can apply for the membership. Right. That is the one more thing. If, it, if your college don't have the Cisco NetAcad, something like this, you can apply. Right. So then only you will be getting the eligibility for attend this virtual internship program. Right. So what is the registration program? Right. So those who are uh, working under NetAcad, so the interested student must complete their registration process on the AACT internship portal. So here what we have to do is first we need to go to the AACT internship portal there we need to apply for this internship program right. So the link will be given in the description so please go through that link right so that will <clears throat> make you to AACT website so there you can complete the procedure. So how to enroll that program will be given in the video right. So they can do so by contacting their NetAcard instructor at their institution and accessing the course of NetAcard.com right. So course completion. So once after registration into the virtual internship program, now what we have to do is we need to complete the course with related to networking and cyber security that will be assigned by your NetAcard instructor. So your college will be having the Cisco, Cisco NetAcard instructor. So from there what you have to do is we need to complete the course which is related to the networking as well as the cyber security right so course completion student will require to provide the proof of course completion and link to the digital batches so marking an important milestone in the virtual internship program so you need to complete the program again we will be having the industry session so the student who are selected will have opportunity to attend a cisco industry session under the guidance of your particular netacard instant they will work on the assigned problem statement the problem statement will be given for you that you need to work out so then finally what you have to do is you need to submit your project. So upon the completion of their project work, student must undertake a final quiz as part of the submission process, right? Remember that you need to undertake a final quiz as part of the submission process, right? So those who are got the eligibility fulfill all the criteria, which is which whatever the given criteria, if you fulfill that requirement, then you will be getting the virtual internship certificate from the CISO Networking Academy, right? So for further support, student can reach, reach out to their NetAcad instructor. So your college will be having the NetAcad instructor. So you can reach to them, right? So they will help you uh, related to all the information related to this internship program, right? So if you want to connect, contact uh, right directly, you can contact via the given mail ID. So but remember one more thing, who is not eligible means the people who are studying currently fourth year, they are not eligible for this program that is strictly given by the this internship program right so the same link will be given in the description box so how to apply for this Cisco VIP virtual internship program so you can use this link so you can register once the registration process is completed then you can register for NetAcad course once it is completed you need to apply the certificate then we need to complete the project under your, under your NetAcad instructor guidance once after completion of your project submission with along with the quizzes you will be getting the certificate from the Cisco. So the video will explain how you can able to log into the AACT program, then how you can register your account, then how you can able to apply for the Cisco virtual internship program which is offered by the Cisco in collaborated with the AACT that is what exactly we are going to see here. So just I am going to paste the link which is given in the description. So copy that link and paste here for applying the internship program. So here you will find in the details something like this Cisco virtual internship program for the year of 2024. Please make sure that 15th May is the last date, right? 
so you can find the what is the eligibility criteria registration process everything you can find it just go through it remember final year students are not eligible for this program right that is most important point now you can see that number of openings everything you can go through that so once it is completed click i am not a robot so then click on apply now once it is completed as a student only we are going to apply this internship program so make sure that it is student and it is also mentioned that you are logging as a student right just click on confirm once it is completed now exactly what we have to do is for applying this internship program first you should have the email id and password right for the time being we don't have the email id as well as the password so only we can able to apply this program when you have the login credential right so as first time when i reach to this iict internship program iict website i don't have the login credential the first step before you are going to apply this what internship program first you need to create the login so for that what you have to do is just click on the register now right the moment you click on the register now right so still we are using as a student only there may be two kind of institutions or universities one is related to affiliated to the aict another one is non aict right so it may be ugc igno others some kind of things will come under the non aict so find out whether it, your institute is related to aict affiliated or not right so most of the engineering colleges were affiliated to the aict only right so in my case it is aict affiliated my organization is that so i'm going to check this option so once it is completed now what exactly you have to do is again there you can select institute name if you know pid or if you know address you can select one by default make sure that you can select the institute name so that it will be easy for to find out our corresponding college right so for that in my case it is my institution name is andra group of institutions so now what exactly we are going to do is just click on this select you can find the green color right just click on this one so the moment you click on this the automatic all detail will be filled over here that you can observe here right so once it is done what you have to do is that just click on i confirm the above details are correct so make sure that your college detail everything is correct right so once it is completed i confirm the above details are correct now what exactly you have to do is we need to enter your first name middle name last name as per our ssc certificate whatever it may be the same thing will be generated in the cisco virtual internship program once it is completed you will be getting the certificate from the cisco right so for that make sure that you are entering your first name middle name last name in correct order so once it is completed you need to enter your contact number then we need to enter your student id or en enrollment number so it means in case if you don't have the enrollment number you can enter your hall ticket number that is more than sufficient and make sure that you need to give the email id that should be in the active mode right so active position it means that so once after applying this one what we have to do is we need to verify the confirmation email will be sent to your particular mail id whichever you are going to give here so then there you need to verify the details then only you will be allowed to log in into the aict site right so make sure that you are giving the working mail id once it is completed the next step is that you need to provide your aadhar number make sure that this email id and password you should be remember for login into this program right so if you forget this one you can't do anything remember that one more point is important so in case in some cases if you remember if you forget your password some kind of things then they have given one more option select security questions so it means that here some questions are given so whichever you find comfortable so you select that particular question something like this what is your favorite teacher favorite game favorite color something like this what is your pet name whichever option is relevant for you to remember just select the particular option then write your corresponding answer so later point of time if you forget your password something like this by using this we can trick time something same like if you have the net banking you can find something like this here also once it is completed then give your gender right so male female transgender whatever it may be so once it is completed this is the most important point that you have to do is that so we need to select the category right so the moment if you click on select category you will be finding these kind of options you select whichever option is relevant to you right suppose if you click on general if your category is related to general just you can clear uh, just you can write the last password code so in some cases maybe other than general maybe something sc st obc something ews suppose if i select something sc category now here what exactly we have to do is we need to upload the cat certificate that is more the important point and it means that before you are going to create the login login credential what you have to do is you make sure that you have the aadhar number as well as the cat certificate right so make sure that the file size of the cat certificate is less than 3mb and the accept, uh, acceptable format is only either jpeg right so our jpg or png format only will be acceptable so save the corresponding fold and click on choose file so whichever the folder you have saved it just select the particular folder and upload it right 
so once it is completed in case if it is cash certificate is uploaded uploaded you need to enter one more details that is nothing but income declaration right so select which one is applicable for you if it is general category you don't need to apply anything right so remember that one more point so once it is done so again what you have to do is we need to enter the last passed course suppose if you are studying btech we need to enter the 12th or diploma whatever it may be according to your eligibility criteria right so select that particular program whichever you completed last passed course then write your percentage right so make sure that do not include the percentage sign suppose if your percentage something 78 you just write the 78 right so once it is completed just i am not a robot right so click on this option so once it is completed what you have to do is we need to click on register right so once the registration process is completed what is the next step you have to do is which are the mail id here we have given some mail id right so just log into that mail id you will be getting the confirmation link from the aict just click on that particular link right after clicking on that then your account will be creator created right so now what i exactly i'm going to do is i'm going to log in my mail id right so whatever the mail id i have given here so that i am going to check whether i got the corresponding email id or not so if you see here you can observe something i got mail id from aict internship right so it is related to the account activation link so just click on this account activation link so here you can find out that thank you for registration on internship portal please verify yourself by clicking on the link below given right so just click on this particular link so just for confirmation of your particular email id that's it now you can find something like this so it is verified right so if it is already login okay if it is not login you just click on the login so here what exactly you have to do is that you have to fill your details right so so in case if it is not login so what you have to do is if it is login okay if it is not login just click on the login so go to aict portal just click on the login so as a student only we are doing right so just make sure that you are logging as a student so once it is completed so here we need to give our email id password right so once it is completed just click on i am not a robot just click on login so the moment you click on login what will be happen means see that you will be finding good job you have successfully logged in so before that you need to enter something so for the first time if you are going to login so complete those process once it is completed you just go to profile so just click on the edit so you can fill the all the options which is relevant to you like your mobile numbers gen student id 10th class 12th class highest degree details post graduation if you have everything you fill out so once it is completed now what exactly we have done is, is we have created our account right it means that we have created our aict account now what exactly we have to do is that we need to register for the cisco virtual internship program right so whatever the link i have given in the description same thing same link i am going to copy out so the moment if i am entering this one again into the browser so see that now what is the difference between earlier and now is that so same here now you can observe here here we have the login right so earlier i don't have the login credential now we have, we have the login account so now what exactly we are going to do is just scroll down right so just scroll down here just click i am not a robot so once it is com completed just click on apply now right so it is asking for as a student just confirm so the moment you just click on the confirm right so it is again asking i am not a robot just click on login see that for first time if you complete this one you will be finding that you have successfully registered for the cisco virtual internship program something like you will be getting it means that you have completed your process right i hope this video is helpful for you thank you very much